Hey guys, Breakfast Sonnens here, back with another video. So recently I had a lot of requests to make a little step back kind of style drop. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make a drop in the style of low stepper. We're going to be remaking his track running. So the final result will sound like this. So first we're going to dive into the drums, then the organ sounds, and then the bass line. The organ sound like this. You have the bass line, and the drums sound like this. So I'm going to show you how to make those tacky kind of style drums. So we have the kick, that we four bar, just with some simple EQing. Just cutting some lows and boosting some highs. Nothing too crazy going on right there. We have the clap. So as you can see, we have this first longer clap and a shorter clap at the second one. This will add some more groove to the sound. We have the basic open hi hat and every offbeat. Nothing too special going on around there. We have the snare drum. As you can hear, this will get some more groove to the track. Besides that, as you can see, it's not exactly on the grid. So what we did is we added a groove template to it. So when you quantize it, I selected the MPC groove template. It's from an old drum machine that will add some more groove to the sounds. We did that as well with the other snare, sounding like this. It's not on the grid as well. Then we add some shakers. Sounding like this, and to finish it off, we added a crowd effect just to fill it up a bit more. And that's it for the drums, so now let's dive into the organ sound. So the final organ sounds like this. So in the original track, it's an M1 organ, it's a typical deep house organ. So I took a one shot from Splice, sounding like this, without effects. For the melody, it sounds like this. Besides that, we add a groove template to the melody as well. Just to make sure everything is in the same groove. So then we add some effects to it. First, we got off all the lows to make room for the bass line. We add some OTT. Some more distortion. Just to make it a bit more powerful. Then some more low cut and some boost in the mid highs. Just to bring it up a little bit more. And add some compression to add some more punch to it. And add some reverb and delay. Quite a heavy reverb. Just to fill up the track a bit more. So with the drums, it sounds like this. So we're getting close. We're only the bass line. So the bass line sounds like this. So it's just a simple saw so square wave. It's from a dirty tech phone one pack I released recently. In that preset pack, you will find all the presets you need to make tech house. So I will link it down below. So it's just a simple square saw wave with a filter. Envelope shaped like this with a little bit of hold, some decay and sustain. We need a sustain to have the last note of the melody sustained. This will fill up the lows in the drop a bit more. There's nothing crazy going on in the effects, just some hyperdimension, some chorus, and some phaser. As you can hear, the phaser really makes a difference in the bass line. So for the effects, we added a high cut, just to make room for the, for the M1 organ. And besides that, we added some more trash distortion, sounding like this. So it simply distorts the sound. So all together, all the elements sound like this. And that's it for the low step back kind of stuff drop. So if you like the video, please do like and see more and the subscribe button. And I'll see y'all in the next videos.